Let me show you how easy it is to make raw milk yogurt in your Instant Pot. Personal preference, I like to use a separate sealing ring for this so it doesn't smell like my chicken noodle soup. And then I quickly sanitize mine before I start. You don't have to, but I like to. Once you dump out the water from sanitizing, you're gonna add in about half a gallon of milk. You can also double this. Now a quick note, you have to read the blog post below to see why we switched from being plant-based to drinking raw milk and frequenting our farm. It is really important that you trust where you're getting raw milk from. Read the blog post for more. Using your yogurt setting, set it to boil. You want it to get to 180 degrees and sometimes it doesn't do it on my yogurt setting so I have to set it to the saute setting to get it there. Take the liner out so it cools faster and then add in your yogurt after it's reached 110 degrees. Then use the yogurt button again and this time put it out for eight hours. You can do a little bit longer if you'd like, but eight works for me. It's not gonna pressurize and that's okay. This is what it's gonna look like when it's all done. You can't see it so well in this video, but it's almost like a thicker jelly kind of consistency here. Now this is where the magic comes in. This strainer I got on Amazon and it helps to make Greek yogurt and it's essentially a very fine mesh strainer in there. And what it's gonna do is you're gonna put the yogurt in here and then it's gonna strain out all of the whey. So the whey's gonna go on the bottom and we're gonna use the strained thick Greek yogurt on the top. And you can check out my blog post too. You don't need to throw away the whey. A lot of times I do, but it's also really good for a lot of cooking purposes. I have ideas in my blog post. Here's the consistency, here's what it'll look like when it is going to go into the fridge for the night, and then here's what it looks like when I wake up in the morning. Look at how thick that is. Here's all the whey that's drained out on the bottom, and look, when you stick a spoon in it, it's like really, really thick consistency. So this is the Greek yogurt that's kind of right out of the strainer, and it is very, very thick. Um, all the whey has been strained out, and I find that it's less bitter than ones that you would get in the store, like a plain Greek yogurt at the store. I think it's sweeter, but it doesn't have any flavor to it. You know, we haven't added anything to it. Um, I use this like a lot to, I put it in my eggs. Um, I use it to make like a chicken salad instead of mayonnaise. I use it to thicken up certain dishes, but it's really good like a cream base and it's packed with protein. But I still have a decent amount of the yogurt left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this one which is what my kids are gonna eat. And this is kind of more what you're used to getting at the store. So I'm gonna show you how I make it into more of like a yogurt consistency that you would get into like in a bigger tub at the food store. Um, and I'll show you how I do that. All right, so to make the yogurt that my kids love to eat, I'm gonna start with the really thick strained Greek yogurt and I'm gonna add in some of the raw milk. Then I'm gonna put in some vanilla and maple syrup, listen. Don't judge me on the amount of maple syrup. My kids love this and I feel like it's giving them enough good <laughs> health benefits that I don't mind putting in that much maple syrup. Stir it around really, really good so it all comes together. And this yogurt tastes like, mm, I don't know, it's better than anything that I bought at the store. It is so good. Here's what the texture of the more thinned down and flavored yogurt looks like versus the texture of the thick, plain Greek yogurt. Again, we use both for different purposes and I love having both on hand. Make sure you label and date with these removable labels. They are so easy and enjoy your yogurt. You have done it. It is really simple. I promise I have a whole recipe and a lot of other tips on my blog. Check it out.